Today's tuned in teacher mantra is do that thing you used to do. A simple way to refresh your classes without needing to learn or do a bunch of new stuff is to dust off a task or routine that you haven't used in a while. This may seem obvious, but I'm amazed when I think of all the activities, techniques, assignments, and resources that I used to use quite a bit, but somehow stopped using along the way. And a lot of time, this wasn't because the old thing didn't work, uh, but because maybe I was trying to get good at something new and simply forgot the old thing. Uh, sometimes it's that I switched things up for no reason at all other than variety, but somehow never ended up circling back to the thing. Now, do that thing you used to do isn't just for variety. Even if you abandon an assignment or a strategy at some point because it wasn't working for you or your students, it might be that the skills or perspectives you've gained as a teacher since then actually make the difference between it's working and not working. In other words, you might have in the meantime developed as a teacher in such a way that you're now able to get a lot from something that back then you and your students weren't getting enough out of for it to be worth continuing. It may also be that your experience can help you take that old thing and tweak one thing about it, that's mantra four, to make it effective. So what's a task, routine, activity, assignment, assessment, or resource that was actually pretty effective but you haven't used in a while? Or maybe that was lacking in some way but could be made effective thanks to the experience you've acquired since? If you're not sure, I bet your students will have some ideas. I've actually asked my students, hey, what's something we used to do in this class that helped you, but for some reason we haven't done in a while? And I often get uh, useful responses to that. Now, you might need something new to help your students more, but you might just need to do that thing you used to do. If you're finding these videos helpful and want to support my making more, consider making a contribution at ko-fi.com slash Justin Slocum Bailey. That's K-O hyphen F-I dot com slash Justin Slocum Bailey. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to, like, comment on, and share these videos.